good morning everyone happy saturday i am just making my coffee oh, i didn't get my sweetener i'm just making my coffee so excuse the noise i have a bit of frothy coffee today so i've just got to get my candle out oh well my back seems a lot better today it still hurts a bit hold on i'm just going so I can't bend. I've got to open this. Hold on. Yeah, it still hurts a bit, but it feels a lot better than it has been. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm able to do a few bits without it hurting, but I still can't bend completely down. But it's not just gonna go, is it? Um, so yeah, I'm currently up. I'm cu it's currently about. I'm gonna say about quarter past eight. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but I'm up, getting my coffee, nice to have a bit of a lie in, like I said before, I know I don't work at the moment, i put some more in, I know I don't work at the moment, but I still have to get up early to take Freddie, um, so it's nice to have a little bit of a break and a lay in, without have to get up with the alarm, so I'm just going to finish this and I'll come back to you. Well, it still hurts when I sit, you know, when I sit back, but our couch is proper had it. We need to get a new one. So when we've um, saved up a bit of money for, for it, we're going to get a nice new couch and that will help. But coffee. Love that first sip. Um, we haven't had Tassimo for about a week, I think, but we bought some in the shop. As I showed you. So I'm just going to sit here. I've been catching up on vlogs this morning. Um, because I'm really behind on some. And um, yeah, I will see you a bit later when I have breakfast. Right, breakfast is one slice of Neville's bread toasted. So it's half of my bee box. And I've got um, scrambled egg made with three eggs. A little bit of my first A box, my milk salt and pep well salt and then some of the um scrambled egg seasoning on just spices and some baked beans that were left over yesterday so i'm going to enjoy this and all i'm using is half my b box a little bit of my first a box and free foods i know i should have speed just don't fancy it so i'd rather be on plan then not. Right, it's nearly half ten. Making Freddy's breakfast, which is normal go to breakfast. Pancakes and breakfast sausage. We've had it for ages now, probably ever since he's been at secondary school, so mm, all good. And yes, I do still cut it out for him because he's my Freddy and I like to do that for him. Excuse the state of me, I'm just going to um, get ready, I've just had a wash and stuff. Look, nearly finished my um, moist, um, Clinique one, I love this one. I just thought I, it wasn't worth using anymore. I did have a, you know, try out, but it wasn't worth using anymore until this is all gone. But, yeah, I thought I'd come on and talk to you about my back. The history of my back basically um i can't remember exactly when it happened i think it was when i was with mark um you know when you do like sudden movements and your back goes and you're like oh like that um i think that happened once and people say when you've got a bad back um you always have a bad back so just accepted it and it was like I used to sort of come and go and and then recently it's been when I say recently I'm talking like a couple of years it's, it was going more like I could be shaving my legs in the shower or the bath and it would like you bend down and it's and it goes 
so after a little while i just thought i better really go to the doctors and find out about it so i have been to the doctors about my back that's why when people sort of say i don't ignore them when they say go to the doctors i have i have been um and explained what was wrong and things like that and they said that they would give me get me an x-ray done so i got an x-ray done and then the physiotherapist got you know booked so i went to see the physiotherapist and basically what she said the majority of the reason my back um goes a lot is the ball <clears throat> on the hip has worn away but only on the right hand side has worn away a bit and what that's done it's made my leg a little bit shorter than the other i mean about sort of about that much shorter about that it's not like a perfect um thingy so my leg is shorter and what she done she made me stand up and she got like leaflets and put them um on the floor and I, I stood on them on one side and at the time that was that was when my back was hurting constantly all the time and she said look and it and it relieved it it relieved the the um pain so what she said was, get something in your shoe, like a sole, you know, like a couple of sole things, put it in your shoe and it will help it. And I did do that and I got some, like the soles and I built it up and it really helped to put, um, take the pressure off. So I've, I've done that for a little while. But it started to get harder because obviously after a certain amount of time the soles wore a bit and i was only using it i was only using one pair of shoes and it was really hard to get it i mean what i should have done was got got one made but i didn't and then when it stopped hurting i took it out because or i used a new shoe i can't remember um and it, it was all right it was fine for ages and then it came back and I think I got some, I, I can't remember, I think I got some more and put them in and it, it was good. And then all of a sudden it just stopped hurting. Um, but recently it's hurting again. Now, first of all, it was on the other side and it, I think it was sciatica because I read it, I looked it up. And it was like a pain in my sort of left bum cheek and all around down the bottom of my back it started and i just thought is it the same thing i don't know now bearing in mind when i went to the physiotherapist she did say it will get it will eventually get worse and i probably would have to have a hip replacement when i'm older well i'm old now but when i'm older um but then all of a sudden it's come back again and a couple of weeks ago it hurt and again that was my i think a sort of type of sciatica but now it hurts the side of where i had my problems um so what i think i need to do i need to get a something made to go in my shoes because not all my shoes can fit it now them fitville shoes that i've got is absolutely perfect for it so I might get them made to wear them. Um, so, yeah, so I, I do think it's something to do with that. I think it's something to do with my hip and the ball joint, where the ball joints rubbed and rubbed off and made my leg. It's, it's really weird. It's hard to explain. I don't walk with a limp. Well, actually, I do a little bit. Ouch, just burnt my hand. I do a little bit, but I just thought that was where I was bigger. And you know when it hurts to walk after a little while. Um, But it might be that. So, 
that's the story of my back. I think it's just worn away in time. Um, if it carries on, it my back is a lot better today. But when I sat on our sofa, we haven't got the best comfortable sofa. Because um, the one we had before wasn't ours. And it was so rubbish. It was really rubbish. And it was really bad. It was quite low and it was bad. It, my, that's when my back started to hurt again. Um, so I think I just need to... We need to get a new sofa. So when we can afford it, we will, like I said. Um, but I need to sort my shoe out. It's just laziness. I need to sort it out. So I need to look into it. So if any of you know anywhere that does that, like a build-up in your shoe or would it be best if I just ask my doctor or through the NHS not that I'm gonna get it paid for but I'll pay for it um so yeah I think it's something to do with that I really do because it is normally on my right hand side it hurts um so I just wanted to explain it because I didn't want to think that like I said I was ignoring people saying you should go to the doctors and stuff because I did go and I did go to the hospital, get x-rays, and that's what they said. So I think at the end of the day, it all it all boils down to that. Um, so yeah, that was my little chat that I wanted to talk to you about. And I thought I might as well do it while I was getting ready. So I hope you understand all what I said. <laughs>
my nice dinner last night and like I said I went over a little bit but not too bad. Right here is my breakfast sort of brunch because it's quarter past 11 now. I've got two slices of Neville's bread toasted for my bee box. I've got a free egg sort of omelette uh, broke a little bit but it's more like an omelette than scrambled egg this time. We have half of my um, second day box of 50% less fat cheese, a little bit of milk from my first day box and yeah so I'm going to go and enjoy this and a bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to go and enjoy this. Well, I'm just about to start eating my breakfast and I've had paracetamol and ibuprofen and I think they've kicked in because it's really helped my back so yeah that's the way forward at the moment. Right, it's about, I think, half twelve. Half twelve. Half twelve. I'm going to have a instant coffee. I'm going to have some seafood sticks. So I'm cooking some, making some rice pudding. And I'm using the Elpro coconut, no sugars. Oh, I'm going to it down. Just making sure it doesn't stick. And I'll just cook it until it's the consistency that I like. That is the rice pudding, and it was made a little bit runnier, which is quite nice. So I'm going to leave that in there, and I, I might have that for my breakfast tomorrow. I'm going to have this rice pudding, and I'm going to put a little light mango and passion fruit in. So it sort of bulks it up, and it'll only be half a sin. Right, and here is my lovely dinner that my lovely husband's made. <laughs> I've got minted lamb steak, and that's actually half a sin. So I've put that down. I've got peas and I've got jacket potato with about two sins of clover light and the rest of my second A box of the low fat, 50% low fat cheese. So this dinner will be three and a half sins. So yummy yum. Right, dinner was very yummy. That's been eaten, didn't eat the fat. Um, and... I don't know what time. What, Mark, what's the time? Uh, quarter to five. Half five. It's about half past five. And I have used four and a half sins. So much better than yesterday. Because I did go over yesterday. And I want you to keep it down today. So if I want anything else. Oh, by the way, I had an apple as well today. Um, if I want anything else, I'm going to eat um, like some fruit or anything like that. But at the moment dinner was very yum i'm very full so oh, sorry i had to cough so i took it off yeah it was very yum very full and i'm just gonna sit here cozy i am dressed i am dressed um i had a um shower and everything but i put this cozy top on still i've got like let jogger bottoms on so yeah i'm gonna just sit here relax and hopefully end on four and a half sins so thank you for watching my weekend vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye